Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about the roller coaster ride. We'll put a graphic up on the screen here. It's the typical response in a small room. We get these big peaks, and then, you know, around 70 to 80, it slides down below baseline. So we get plus 11, plus 13 here, and then we could get minus 5, minus 9 here. This is the roller coaster, okay? Whenever we have energy that goes from this to that, this is all air, okay? And this has to be corrected. And there's a lot lost there in these 30, 40, 50 hertz peaks. Sliding down to seven, I mean, we lose so much in that transition because all of this here is air, and it has to be fixed. How do we fix it? We shrink it. Our carbon technology is really good to this, you know. Whenever pressure varies by large amounts, that's big distortion. We lose separation. We lose definition. We get that mud and soup, we call it. You can't hear each individual octave band, let alone each individual note. When you can't hear the band or the note that comprises the band, that's distortion, okay? So we must reduce that kind of pressure. So we have to push on the peak and push, and that'll fill, cause the dip to feel better, okay? Because the dip's a reaction to the peak. So let's start with the fundamental and work on the harmonics later. Get the fundamental in order. That's why I'm always talking about let's treat the fundamentals first. We got to get those done first. Okay? Then we'll work on everything else. Diaphragmatic absorption is the only absorption that has the horsepower to handle these double digits. Boxes filled with building insulation can't do it. You can have two, three, four foot thicknesses. You still can't have the proper rate and level impact here. It's too big of a task for limp mass materials, okay? You got to go after rate and level. You got to be able to get a lot at 30, get a lot at 40, get a lot at 50. Our ACDA 12, 35% at 30. 63% at 40, 100% at 50. That's a lot. That's a big sponge. That's 1.5 dB attenuation for every 12 square feet. That's what that roller coaster ride needs. 1.5 dB for every 12 square feet. I wish it was 1.5 for every six square feet. It'd weigh 350 pounds probably. But the bottom line is you gotta have the horsepower. And this roller coaster ride is a great error and a great loss. So you have to treat it. We have the technology. It's all about surface area coverage. Fill out the room form. We'll walk you through your pressure issues. We'll tell you where they're at, what surface they're on, how big they are, and how much square footage of surface area coverage you need to treat this roller coaster ride, okay? So it's definitely a roller coaster ride, but it's not a thrill. You're not generating a thrill here. You're generating huge amounts of room distortion. And this is all because of the dimensions in small rooms. Not your fault, it's your responsibility to treat it if you want good sound. Roller coaster ride. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum, and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.